Hi friends, welcome to Coffee with Cat in the North. Today I'm going to talk about stress. Well, we know um, stress can cause so many problems. It can cause eating disorders, depression, anxiety and anger, heart problems, lack of energy and confusion, and a whole lot more. And uh, so I thought I'd talk about that a little bit this morning and I do have my notes. I've got to confess, uh, I'm not drinking coffee this morning. I'm actually drinking chamomile tea. And um, I welcome you to join me um, with your favorite beverage of choice, uh, or just sit back and um, take a listen if you like. And I always welcome, um, I always welcome comments, helpful comments um, that you might have to share. Um, there's so many things that are overwhelming right now and uh, one of them is the weather with the recent hurricanes that we've had and it's caused so much devastation and my heart and my prayers go out to those who were affected by it in any way. Uh, we're also overwhelmed with the news media and the inaccuracy, fake news, uh, biased news. And a lot of what we see out there is very deceiving. Also social media. Um, on social media, we see fake news, we see anger, we see in your face aggression and we see lies. Now, this Bible, I have many. This is my study Bible. It is the word of truth. This word of truth, if you read it, you will know what the truth is. There is so much information in the Holy Bible. You will find peace. When you dig into it and you read it, you will find peace. Read the chapters. Um, sometimes when I'm frustrated, I like to read Proverbs. I feel better after I read that. But there are many wonderful chapters in this book, the Holy Bible. And I find peace within when I read it. And it's something that maybe could help you too. Now, I read and I do study the Bible, and um, the King James Version is my go-to. But I also, when I'm studying, I also read 
and study uh, the New Living Translation Bible, the NLT, and the NIV. I use those Bibles to help me. It helps me to um, put everything together, together and understand it better. But my go-to is the King James Version. Now, there are other ways, other things that can help you. There's other helps out there. Listening and watching less news can definitely help relieve your stress. Less social media can also help you to relieve stress. There is just so much out there. You can surround yourself with the right people. You can also talk to somebody that you can trust. You can read or uh, listen to something positive. Um, I like listening to Christian radio and um, that helps a lot. I also read daily devotions, but there's other things that you can do as well. Maybe uh, you need to find some solitude someplace quiet where you can just be by yourself to think, spend time outdoors or uh, doing something quiet that you enjoy. Uh, when it comes to social media, um, You can clean it up. You can clean up the social media news feeds that you have. There's so many social medias out there now, I don't even know what they all are. But uh, you can clean up the news feed, uh, which is something that as soon as you turn it on, you, you get all this information fed to you on your uh, social media page. Um, there on some of the on some of the mo uh, social medias, there's a, a do not follow option. If you keep getting bombarded with stuff, but you still want to stay in the loop, so to speak, uh, you can hit the do not follow option. I know it's like that on Facebook, and then later you can go and you can visit it when you feel like it. Um, you can change your notifications to either less notifications or no notifications. Um, or you could get rid of social media altogether. Or, you know, you could even take a break. Now with election time coming up, um, I'm seeing so much confusion out there, just so much confusion. I'm seeing so much hate and anger, so many lies. You know, it, it's very uh, disheartening. You know, you want to uh, sort of stay in the loop and follow things a little bit so you know what's going on. You know, at least some people do. Uh, but too much of it, if you feed yourself too much of that um, every day, it's going to wear and tear on you and it is, it's going to cause you a lot of stress. Quite honestly, I, I don't like to talk about politics, so I try to stay out of that. Too much of that isn't good for you at all. When you find yourself um, being subjected to some of that anger and meanness, 
lies and hatred that's out there. Please try to be kind and don't stoop to their level. There is good out there, honest. I would just say, if you're feeling stressed and all the things that go along with it, please, please be careful of how much you take in and please, I want you to stay safe and take care. And um, until next time, God bless.